Next up at UFC 280, we have the main event of the evening. We have Charles Oliveira defending his belt against Islam Makhachev. And actually, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. He's not defending his belt. They took that shit. Well, you know what's going to be weird is, about there this? There is no champ here. The, the, you know what's going to be weird about this? I don't think it's going to happen. But if this is like a close decision, they're going to say, and new, but you don't know who it is. They're yeah, going to say, yeah, yeah. and new, and then it's going to, I thought about that. I was like, oh, the crowd's going to go crazy, and then it's, they're going to give it to Charles because it's going to be a new champion either way, technically. Yeah, I completely forgot that, um, that they, well, I didn't forget I did any quick picks, but right now I forgot they took the belt away. But it's funny because the UFC is using this graphic of him with the belt. That's the one they're using too. But the champ anyway. has a name, and his name is Ryan Hall. Okay. Um, anyway, Charles Oliveira, thirty-three and eight overall, five and zero oh in his last five, riding an eleven fight win streak, and he's trying to get his title back. Islam Makhachev, twenty-two and one overall, five and zero oh in his last five, and he's riding a ten fight win streak. You guys are split. The arguing is absolutely insane in the comment section. I, I oh, actually, here was the Twitter argument that uh, I saw. So these are the comments that I made. Trigger I fingers forget, turned to Twitter fingers. I forget the, I forget the exact phrasing I used, but I said something to the effect of Charles Oliveira is the most talented fighter in the division, but Islam Makhachev is the best fighter in the division. And somebody took the time to screen record both of those clips, put them together, tweet it. He's probably in the chat right out. now. Probably. I just couldn't imagine having that much time or care that much. But anyway, this person, real swim fan vibes going on there. And then people like just couldn't wrap their head around that concept. How could you, you use the word best twice? It's listen to the words. Charles Oliveira, skill for skill, is the best guy. Skill for skill. He's got some of the best striking. He's got some of the best jujitsu. He's got capable wrestling. Skill for skill. He's the, one of the most complete, most dangerous, one of the best guys in the division. Islam Makhachev has okay striking, insane wrestling, insane timing, insane control. And just that, just the wrestling and the timing and the control is all he needs to win this fight and every other fight. Is he the He's better overall fighter? No. Is he the best fighter in the division? Yes. Islam Makhachev wins this Because he does what he does better by far than anyone else. So he has that 100%. dominant aspect. So when you have that dominant aspect, that can take that can wipe away a well-rounded 100%. fighter. Yeah. So I, I, Islam wins this fight. He wins it with wrestling and control. Whoa! What? That's what? not going to go over very well. Uh, okay, well, it, what's crazy about that? All of these people insisting it's the it, this is the Armin Saruki and Joel Alvarez breakdown all over again. I pick the heavy favorite, Armin Saruki, the heavy favorite, and the world came from my head. It and is it's a the lot same like thing. That. Islam it, it, is the two it, it to is. one favorite, and people are acting like he's a ten to one underdog. And I'm saying ridiculous things. He's the favorite. If you guys actually felt as strongly as you pretend to you would be betting money and the line would have moved but you're not you're just saying nonsense in the comments and in the live chat because the line's not moving islam's a heavy favorite and it's for a reason jakey boy go ahead before i get even more annoyed no i will uh let me just say that i like but i'm one of those rare people that like both people because it, it is this is a very polarizing fight you either are one way or the other and you cannot understand how the other side can feel i can see both i can see both avenues of this fight i can see islam coming in wrestling dominating that controlling the fight i can see charles coming in having a success early with the hands maybe win some scrambles getting his back threatening those positions but i think the safe play for this fight and i love charles and i love islam and i do have sprinkled money and i'll talk about about charles for early in the fight I really see when I imagine this fight and I and I and I lay down and I have my wet dreams about 280 and I think about this fight, I just keep picturing Charles in the third round more tired than you have ever seen him in his life. Because early, I think Islam's not gonna mess around, right? He knows what Charles is 
capable of on the feet, and Islam knows he's not there. He's going to go for the legs. Charles is either going to try and defend the takedowns, which I don't think he's going to be able to, even if he tries, or he's going to go straight to the jiu-jitsu scrambles. And Islam has been grappling, Sambo grappling his entire life. So when people think that it's just going to go to the ground and Charles Oliveira is going to throw up a triangle and get an arm bar and win a scramble, get his back and choke him out. It's going to be that easy. It's not going to be that easy. And in those scrambles, Islam has been going through those scrambles time and time and time again. And if I, uh, even Charles fans, you have to admit, if this is going four or five rounds, you got to go with Islam for cardio, right? I mean, this dude has just shown time and time. He's going to be nonstop. And Charles has had some early fights in these last, has you know, he's obviously the Tony fight win, whatever. But I'm just saying Charles on his back, Islam on top is not what you want to see at all. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think that this is a, a quick finish. I hope it's not a quick finish. I hope we get to see some striking and some grappling. But I see Islam riding this dude for two rounds, and then Charles no longer becomes a threat on his feet because he's too tired, can't defend the takedowns, and his submission threats are no longer there because he's too tired as well, and Islam grinds us out for the next three rounds. So I think Charles is very live. Of course, in the first two of rounds. Of course, he's so dangerous. Of course, he's live. He can do anything, anywhere, at any moment. Or, more likely, he's taken down, held down, and beat up off his back, and he's not going to catch Islam in a submission. That's the most likely outcome here. Right. And then everybody with the ridiculous comments. So Josh Saunders, the line has shrunk considerably. Okay, when it first opened, the very first minute it opened was July sixteenth. It opened at minus two forty. Okay, so it's definitely, uh, it shrunk a little bit. Well, right? that well, was, no, what? I think he's a little bit right here because it opened at minus 300, it ballooned to minus 410. Oh, I'm not seeing minus that. Minus 400. Movement. Well, um, anyway, and, my point and is then the it went down early, to 225, now it's, so. You can't go not, by the early. The early is just like, they throw a line out there, they let it go wild. If you go to August 27th. Well, from March to May, it was at minus 400. March to May, that's just speculation bets. The fight wasn't even announced then. Those are literally just speculations. March to May, that's just speculation. Once April it was a flower fish- spring. All right, shut. Or April. <laughs> oh, Once man, it was a fish, it was officially opened at minus two forty. If you go to August twenty seventh, it was minus one fifty five. It's now minus one ninety two. And the point is, and then people are like, oh, Angelo, with your the half line your has bet, you're not moving the- considerably. My overall, I'm point- with you. My overall point is, look at this. It was minus 300 before Charles defended. That's just a speculation lines. Those are not real lines. You can't go by that. When it's a real line, I'm that's what I'm real lines here. Okay. Uh, my overall point here is, if you look at the comment section, 90% of people are saying Charles. 90%. If 90% of people actually felt that way, the line would not look this way. Even if you are only betting a half a unit, ten dollars. Yeah, do you know? Do you the know what the, like. the percentage of people on Tapology are picking Charles Oliveira? I'll give you a guess. What percentage do you think? I bet. I bet it's like forty something. Some stupid trendy bullshit. Are picking Charles to win? Yeah. Angelo, it's sixty nine percent of people on Tapology have picked Charles Oliveira to win this fight. You know how I crazy mean, that is? That is so stupid. You know how crazy and, that is? And, Listen, and, I love Charles, and I have bets on him. I think he's live in the first or second Jesus. rounds. I have first and second round specific bets. But to to think that is – I just don't – guys, you got to think clear. I know Charles has been looking great, even though he's been getting knocked out. I mean, knocked down every single fight, basically. Um, I know he's been looking great, and I know who he is, who he is. But this guy has lost eight fights before. You just got to think rationally about this. Islam can just come in. And just control the wrestling and be boring and, and, and just win that fight the way he's been winning. I know people are like, oh, he hasn't fought anyone. It doesn't matter, man. It does not matter. He's, he can do whatever he wants in there. He can do whatever he wants in there. Think rationally, guys. Well, and I'm not trying to um, – we talked about it. Charles Oliveira can Islam's absolutely been KO'd. win this. You're right. Wow. Uh, Charles Oliveira can absolutely win this fight. He can absolutely snatch up a submission. He's done that many, many times. He can knock out Islam. Islam's been knocked out. Charles is an assassin on his feet. I'm this. Nothing that I'm saying is taking credit away from Charles. I open this up by saying he's the most talented fighter in this division. The only thing I'm saying is Islam's going to take him down and hold him down. That's what's going to happen. And the stats we talked about earlier, if you remember, we broke down Muhammad Makayev. The dude averages 11 point something takedowns per fight, which, wow, that's impressive. That's so many takedowns. Islam averages 3.4. You know why? 
because he, he holds, holds people, down. people down. They don't say get it, back say up. Say it again, Angelo. He holds people down. They don't get back up. He holds people down. I think, I mean, this is a, um, I see this the same way as. 69% well, of people is absurd. I know. And I like Charles. I'll be, ro- I will be rooting for Charles in this fight. So don't, don't oh, make it be seem like amazing I'm a Charles if hater. I will, I, yeah, yeah, I, will, I am definitely rooting for Charles in this fight. I hope he gets it done. I hope he knocks him out. You know, in the first, I, that would be crazy if he just came in and does what Charles does. But I think the safer play of the two, because Charles needs a little bit of a Hail Mary. He needs a little bit of a Hail Mary. Islam's going to stay safe. He knows the dangers on the feet. And on the ground, he definitely, for Charles to submit, Islam off his back, like maybe he wins a scramble and he gets to a position right. But if you're going to submit Charles or Islam off your back, that is a absolute Hail Mary's type situation. Um, not saying it can't happen. Hail Marys do happen. But you guys got to think a little bit more rationally than what you are. These aren't rational thinkers. Jester literally struggles with like comprehending complex thoughts. And he just doesn't understand my point over if as many people are, are betting on Charles as they say they are, that line would be movement. Yeah, money moves lines. In Jester's mind, uh, the people betting Islam all have $10 million and the people betting Charles have 50 cents. That's that's how he's looking at this conceptually. It's stupid. Jester's your simpleton. I'm sorry. Um, you know, not everybody, you know, the world needs janitors too, right? But not everybody's a genius. $5 super chat from Andres Alera. Sorry, Jester. Hey, Jester, I'm sorry about that, man. Green... <laughs> Green and Hooker's last two wins for Islam on a week's notice. Tiago Moises took him into the fourth round before that and dropped him. How does Charles do worse? Um, listen, I hear you. And there, I retweeted the video of Tiago Moises taking Islam down, which was impressive, right? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you're going to talk about, oh, Tiago Moises dropped Islam, blah, blah, blah. Charles Oliveira has been dropped. Do you need me to read those stats? How many times he's been dropped? Yeah, you can't. You can't just start copy and pasting fights. You can't just say, "Well, this person did it." So this person. It means everything is di- everything is different. Preparation is different. Com- everything is different. And the point I'll a hundred percent agree with is that um, Charles Oliveira has fought the higher level of competition for longer. That's not even debatable. I see you people arguing in the comments section. Oh, there's not an argument there. Islam has not fought anybody. Near the level of people that Charles I mean, he fought, fought a guy on PEDs and handled them <laughs> very quickly. But the over the overall point, like Charles Oliveira has fought some incredible people and beaten some incredible people. Charles Oliveira also lost to Paul Felder. That's his last loss. Whoa, it was a few whoa, years ago. whoa, 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 whoa. I don't, I'm not going to stand for you. Use Paul Felder, the Irish dragon's name. Like, oh, you lost to Pel- Paul Felder. Paul Felder is a world class fighter and would have became the champ. Okay. One day had if he, he didn't lose five more fights after had this. Had he not lost yeah. as many fights as he <laughs> yeah. did. I bet. He lost to Ricardo Lamas. Anthony Pettis quality loss. Max Lamas. Holloway quality loss. <laughs> Frankie Lamos. Edgar quality loss. Cub Swanson quality. Donald Cerrone. Nick Lentz. Jim Miller. Those are his losses. He has higher level of opponents in his losses than Islam does in his wins. I totally get it. But styles make fights. Islam's just going to take him down. Not get there's no, the striking's not going to matter because Islam's going to take him down, and Islam's not going to get submitted. He's been rolling around the ground since he was zero years old. He's not going to be submitted. So Charles is. Slick. I didn't pick. I didn't pick Dustin over Charles. By the way, I actually think I predicted the exact outcome of 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 that fight. If you go back and watch. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, overall point here: Charles Oliveira is absolutely amazing, and I. I believe the arguments saying that he's the goat over Khabib. I love those arguments, and those are valid arguments. They're all, you know, I actually agree with it. He's he's done way more as champion than Khabib ever did, ever. His road to the title was ridiculously harder. Charles Oliveira is the best 155 pounder for sure, like career wise. Minute for minute, Islam's going to beat him, take the belt, and then Islam will then be the champion for a while. We both until agree. Gamrot, until okay. until Gamrot, and then Gamrot smokes <sighs> Islam. I mean, absolutely, just dominates Islam. It's going to be ugly. And then Demir's going to come along and smoke Gamrot. And Demir's going to be. I, I hope Demir does okay. become the champion. Well, anyway, seventy eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll be live Saturday. Sorry, sorry. 
sorry, sorry. All of you, all of you people loving Charles Oliveira, seventy eight hundred dollars. That's not you know, go for it. Solid price, eighty four hundred dollars for Islam. I, when I do my DraftKings video, I'm gonna. I, I, he's probably never been that affordable. Eighty four hundred dollars. I think never been like, that affordable. I think against Bobby Green, I think he cost twelve thousand dollars. I think. He <laughs> yeah. cost, no, he's in my lineup. Yeah. Yeah, we're brainwashed because we're picking the two to one favorite. What? We're the. Oh wait, sorry. Is that to us or is that to the people picking Charles Oliveira? No, I think because it's probably to us. It probably is. We're. we're picking the two to one favorite, and we're brainwashed. Thank you for being so woke. And really just going against the grain. You are awake and we are not. Thank Way to you go, so big much. Donnie. You did it. You did it. You are you're the wokest of the woke. You're awake. We're brainwashed. Um all right. Anyway, guys. Eighty four hundred dollars Islam will definitely be in my lineup. Um Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line, seventy one to ninety eight. This is another one that I am not touching because I, I do think the over on rounds makes the most sense. It's only a two and a half round line. Which I'm surprised because Charles Oliveira is good enough on the ground to not the be issue submitted. Is you're picking Islam, Durr. <laughs> <laughs> I just the imagine him literally isn't. going, literally typing, literally going Durr as he types he, it. He durr. said the issue isn't that you're picking Islam. I know, but just seeing someone type out Durr, just Durr as they're hitting their keyboard. Probably well, one at a time, though. T-E-R-R, or the Cheeto fell, and the R was just dragged Double on. Double G. Anyway, I'm not going to touch Monkey Knife Fight because, man, I don't know what's going to happen in this fight. I, I think Islam wins. I think he gets the takedown. I think he holds him down. But strike-wise, 98's a lot, especially considering the line's only two and a half. So I'm not going to touch that. But if you guys want to do all the things, go to wewantpicks.com slash mkf. They'll instantly match your deposit. You give them 100, they'll give you 100. You give them 20, they'll give you 20. Take the free money. Play some of those strike lines. If you lose, who cares? It was free money. And if you win, great. You have even more free money. You could withdraw your original. Now it's house money forever. Donnie, only one of us has a meatball head here. He said Islam is not going to control him the way you guys are thinking in your meatball heads. There's only one meatball head here. No, who? What? Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the watch. Become a premium member. It is $10 a month. And and just genuinely, first of all, thank you to the 1,300 something members we have now. It's thank a bad, it's a, it's a two way road. It supports us and we support you with just contributing 33 cents a day. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for the existing premium members and, you know, genuinely, we take a lot of pride in that product. Every single month, we're it's letting the you best vote. Value. I know I give Angela a hard time about it, but it literally is the best value out there. And if you're not uh, signing up for it, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Like, no, if you're 100- looking for this and you guys are asking questions there, all your questions pretty much are going to be answered with this right here. Premium memberships. Well, and frankly, if there's anything there that you uh, want that you don't see, let us know. There's a vote in your account page on the next feature, and we literally just... Com- you- DraftKings Optimizer. You guys was, can talk to us directly. Premium members can talk to us directly through the Discord, right? Through the lounge, the private lounge or whatever. I believe so. I'll ask Josh how that's set up. Right. Anyway, become a premium member. Legit. It's $10 a month. It's worth it. That's 30, I guess it's 35 cents a day. I've been saying 33. Somebody corrected us. Um, we appreciate you if you're already a member. If you're not, give it a try. If you don't like it, cancel. Who cares, right? But give it a try. It's only 10 bucks to give it a go. If you want $50 for free, we want picks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. We will send you $50 as a thank you. What could you possibly want to say that you haven't said in the last two hours and 10 minutes? Uh, live stream tomorrow night. I will be live. I'll be going over betting. We'll talk about, we, we touched on bets here, but usually on those, uh, Wednesday live streams, I, I look at, we look at bets for every single fight. So join me there. It'll be just me. So it'll be a lot more fun. I know there wasn't a lot of fun tonight, so it will actually be fun. And if we have time, we'll open up some cards as well. Thursday, lock of the week video Friday. Uh, actually we might do the betting video early. So. Look up for the, for the betting video. Friday we'll drop. Yeah, it. Friday we always drop all our stuff. We, we do some yeah. other stuff on Friday. Saturday I will be live. I'm going to go live before the Bilal Sean Brady fight, and I will stay live for the entire main card. And we have a lot of fun. People will let you know in the chat. We have a lot of fun on those late, uh, those live streams. I'll be the main card UFC 280 Saturday. All right, and the math continues. Zai Khan, premium memberships, one point three cents an hour. 
Guys, you could make shoes for Nike in Indonesia and still afford premium membership. Thank you so much for the watch. We appreciate you. We'll see you the rest of the week for all the things.